Hi, I'm Christopher DePrado of Mile Fashion and Compression, and we're here to do an unboxing video. This is the new Aked Away Mechanical Cupper that just came out this past month, and you've been seeing it probably a lot on Instagram. We're going to give you some of the pros and some of the cons as it relates to this new unit. Packaging is nice, it's pretty simple. Um, there is only one decompressor in this unit. As you can see, it has a lanyard in here, and then there's also another cord so that if you attach it to your back, you can attach it around your neck or around your arm to make sure it doesn't fall off you. Which is good because this one device is anywhere from $125 to $189 is what we've been seeing it on the internet. Very simple application. You just push the button, hold it down, it loads it up, and right away you can hear the pneumatic pump start to pull. In order to create suction, you have to attach it to something else because it's gonna keep drawing otherwise. So I'm gonna put it here on my forearm. You guys can see it starts to draw up and when it locks in a certain pressure and feels that draw into the decompressor, the red light therapy actually hits. So this is designed to do both pneumatic decompression as well as red light therapy. And we'll talk about the pros and cons of some of these. There are four different settings here. So I can hit this M button and go to the next setting, which is a little bit more pulsatile, holds with a release. So another nice part of this decompressor is it has a pulsatile function, which is great for lymphatic flow. Um, there is an alternatively um, con to this though, is that the pressure is fairly high. We're gonna put this in the moderate category. So it's gonna be a moderate pressure of about 400 to 430 millimeters of mercury. I'm gonna hit this M button again. You guys can hear the next one. So a little more draw and then hold. And then the fourth mode there, which is more of a static. Um, there is pretty good pressure. Like I said, 400 to 430 millimeters mercury. Um, so it's staying on, but I worry a little bit if I'm doing some type of straight arm pull down or some other activity with no muscular education that it could hit the side of my body and fall off or just when it's in the pulsatile non-suck mode that it's gonna drop off because of that, which would be not so good, especially because of the price tag like we talked about. Um, but it's really easy to apply to yourself. If you wanna turn it off, you can just push the button again. And you guys can see here, it left a pretty good mark with just a minute or two of technique going through. Um, it would be challenging also to glide this um, because of the pressure and the static pressure setting that there, there is on that. Even with the different modes, it's hard to get a lower pressure that you can glide on, so that's gonna be in the calm category. So something that we wanna look at. Um, a very nice pro is that it has a very simple detach mode if you wanna go and clean this. So cleaning it is gonna be very simple. We're gonna put that in the pro category for sure. It's gonna be a great feature of that. Alternatively though, on the calm category, there's gonna be only one size and it is a flat decompressor. There's no curvature to it, so it's very hard to fit other areas of joints as well as tapered areas of the body. Um, so with just the one size, you are fairly limited with that. All in all though, it's a very nice unit, um, very well made. As their first mechanical product coming out, we're gonna give a pretty good grade for that. Um, so in summary, there's really a great market, I think, for this self-application. Um, there's four settings on this particular model. And with that, you have a red light therapy, um, which is a nice feature to offer, especially when you see that it's sucking onto there and goes from blue light to red light um, to be able to see the differences in terms of that uh, application. Um, it's easy to apply yourself. There are different modes with it, and it's very easy to clean. So we're gonna put all of those in the pro category. In our cons category, number one is the price tag. Like I said, it's anywhere from $125 to $189 is what we've seen it. I mean, that's for one decompressor. So if you wanted to line up two or three and do a fascial sling, it's gonna be challenging for you to do that if you have a small practice and not a lot of um, durable good income for that. Um, the other thing is it's a little bit noisy. You guys can hear it on the video here. Um, the noise does get a little bit obnoxious um, if you're trying to have a relaxation type technique um, or approach to your client's care. Um, the red light energy that is produced by this is also very low. So that's gonna be actually a con. Um, it seems to be more of a marketing thing than anything. Um, they said it was 0 0.06 joules, which is very much on the lower side, so it's not as effective as a red light category um, energy output as we would like to see. And there's only one size, like we said. Um, with a flat base and one size, it's gonna be hard to fit other parts like the Achilles or Soleus or part of your shoulder as you go through shoulder range of motion, so that's gonna be a con as well. 
And then overall, it's gonna be challenging to glide because the pressure is at a moderate level and it doesn't go very low. So to glide it on the skin, is gonna be kind of challenging for that. So like I said, some pros and some cons. And these are things that we can kind of make a good informed decision on whether this particular unit, which is a nice entryway into a mechanical uh, decompression um, into this new market. Um, it's a great start to it, and I, I look forward to more devices by them with different sizes and shapes, hopefully, as well as alternative pressures to just this one static pressure. So from modified decompression, this is our ached away cupper. Hopefully that helps make you a more informed consumer of these products. Have a great one and make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already and check us out on the Instagram.